What did you say this room was called? Sacrificial chamber. Alright, what's up folks, it's me Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase for Rimworld 1.0, and this is the Aliens vs Predator mod. It is easily one of the coolest mods that I've come across, although I know that I've said that a hundred million times, but I'll tell you why. It's because in this one you can make a prison and literally feed people to facehuggers and turn them into aliens. That's not the real reason though. Anyways, it's one of the coolest mods I've come across because it adds in so much stuff to the base game about a universe that I love. I grew up playing Alien vs Predator 2. It was one of the coolest games ever. Um, in fact, it was pretty competitive too. A lot of fun. So I've got the Predator race over here. This is just a typical Predator, although all of my Predators are geared to shit because I just made every single piece of gear and obviously they're gonna choose the best. But I've got Orod Fighter here. Quite a cool name for a guy. Um, they are the Yaucha race. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's just how I prefer to say it, Yaucha. Yaucha are just, in effect, tougher humans. They're a lot tougher in a lot of ways. They learn a little bit quicker, too. Um, and the, don't get confused with the global work speed here. It's because the armor reduces it by, like, 50% 50, 50 and then 15%, which is just crazy. But, yeah, they're, in effect, tougher humans. They live in warmer climates, so you need to keep the world a little bit warmer. But, honestly, you get some crazy <laughs> like i don't even think you really need to uh the armor just sort of compensates for you so much that's not the end of the world if you get into slightly warmer or colder temperatures um but yeah generally warmer places are better for them and for this modern in total you will need to be in a warmer environment regardless um so it adds in a whole lot of their armor too armor greaves um, masks weapons there are tons of weapons to go through plasma pistol the combi staff the spear rifle the needler we have the bladed mole and then the gauntlets so i do have a fully kitted out predator just on the ready here but as you can see they've got shards remaining 10 self hunter gauntlet with a power supply source number here the cloak on which i can toggle on there turns them invisible turn it off if i want to look how cool that is People can't see him, so you can just sneak up on the people with it on, which is awesome. They've got Detonate here. I'm sure you all know the Detonate from Alien vs Predator, or just Predator. It is a massive bomb. And then the turret. So the turret is an automatic thing that shoots out at enemies. So if I were to go and spawn a drone, he didn't even need to shoot that. That is the turret shooting for him. As you can see, Lord created. Okay, weird. Yeah, the turret automatically shoots, which is cool. You can turn it on and off. I've seen a few prisoners get their heads melted off pretty quickly because I opened up the prison with that on during a prison break, and it just destroyed like three heads in a row. It melts people. It's just like the it's just like the movie. It literally explodes people to death. So if we go to the machining table here. I can show you all the different things you can make. Thank goodness that modders are doing this these days, but they seem to be putting all of the recipes into one table. Thank goodness. I really, really appreciate that. But you've got light armor, effectively, all the way up to heavy armor. You get elite armor, and you get ornate armor, which is cool. Then you get the vest, the survival mesh, and then the gauntlet. The plasma cast system, health shards. The health shards are the ones that he injects himself with to heal himself really quickly in the first movie. Um, so all this stuff comes from gear. Predators obviously can't go invisible by themselves. It's not a biological thing. So if I were to drop all of this. You can see that they become quite a bit more bare. So suddenly they need to be above 20 degrees, which is quite hectic. Although you can mitigate that very quickly. Um, and they have none of the cool features that they normally have. So the gauntlet is the one that adds in 
the detonate and the cloak. So now you can cloak, go invisible and stuff like that. Um, and then the other thing that forces something on, or not forces it, but adds it on, is the plasma caster, which gives you the turrets. And you can see them actually wearing the plasma caster over there, which is pretty cool. I gave him a bow because I thought the bow looked really cool. You can give him any weapon. Uh, the difference in armor is quite massive though, especially when you compare it between this elite plate and the heavy plate that they wear normally. For an extra 10% defense in the heavy plate and roundabout there, you lose 50% global work speed. So just keep that in mind. And your people will automatically go towards the uh, the heavy plate instead of the elite one just because it gives you that extra bonus. But yeah, it's, it's pretty massive. That's the Yautja race though. I think they're pretty cool. I've probably missed quite a bit of them. I'll probably miss quite a bit in this entire mod showcase because it is a massive mod and it is freaking awesome. So I just want to give a shout out to the developers because it's easily one of the coolest mods ever. Uh, next up we have the alien races. It's just alien for now but you do get a whole lot of them. Let me spawn in some of the different varieties. So the neomorphs. Oh they actually killed the neomorphs. Okay. No worries. That's cool guys. Don't worry about it. Spawn some neomorphs over there. Neomorphs are so bloody freaky to look at, man. I used to think the alien was weird to look at. They are so weird. Pred aliens. Also wants to just kill that one. They want to get out, which is fine. Spawn a few pred aliens in. Pred aliens are scary too. That movie was rubbish though. Yeah, they're getting through Drick Steel. This has 16k, 15k HP. That is scary. Um, the Royal Hugger. The, that's the one that makes the Queen. It's pretty sweet. Spawn a Queen in. And they make eggs as they go. Queens look so cool. Whoever did the artwork for this mod deserves a freaking raise. And here they get free. Alright, sign. that is sign for me to actually pull my people into this room here. And block the doors. Because... They will come and they will melt everything. It is terrifying. Let me just equip this place with some decent defenses. Although nothing is going to work against these things. As far as I can tell, nothing works. Alright, there we go. They're going to have to sleep inside here for the next while. So now, you can see them busy carrying people as they walk. And I will tell you why they're doing that. So let's just watch them. See them carrying pawns and random people. Just keeping an eye on him. And they'll bring him to this corner down here. And now you can see Lindbergh is being tied up. They are literally vomiting on them to make the alien goo. I don't know why it's blue because it's normally like a yellowy color. Light yellow. But they keep the aliens here. And then the alien mama comes and chills. And plops out an egg. Eventually. And that egg... Over there, the Xenomorph egg at the bottom. I can't see it because all these people are in the way. But it spawns face huggers. And then the face huggers will come and face hug these people that are tied up in the goo, which is so freaking cool. It's so damn awesome. Um, there are a few events that come with it, but this is probably the primary one. They make a little base on the map and they will slowly spread. They will, If you leave your base, they will come and hunt you. It is just one of the coolest things ever. I've seen quite a few mods that employ this sort of tactic. But there's something so inherently freaky about having one of your colonists be captured. Let's let the human go. The human go. Well, I have a feeling they're probably going to be coming for her already. Are they? No. So there we go. Parasite has attached itself to Xeno's head. Uh, which is one of the humans' names, I know, ironically enough. But yeah, here they come. They smelt blood. Get away with the cloaking system, because, you know, aliens can actually see through the cloaking system. Uh, yeah, okay, now nah, she's dead. Yeah, then... Oh! Oh, they took her head off. Oh no, the acid blood burnt it off. Okay, I was going to use a detonate thing to blow up this whole place. But yeah, so if you damage a xenomorph, something that I was going to speak in, speak about later on in the video, but if you damage a xenomorph, the blood that it drops, let's see if we've got any here. 
the yellow liquid that it drops it actually burns through things that it's on top of. So, for example, if you have a power conduit on the floor here... Actually, let's see if it's not too late. It'll actually damage the power... Oh, no, I got cleaned up by the rain. Damn it. As you can see, the power conduit is taking damage there as it goes on because I downed the alien. It starts off like this and then it actually builds up in damage over time from what I've seen or at least it starts to sort of get the hectic damage out. But because it's raining, it's going to clear up the blood pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's quite terrifying. So the alien mama will keep making eggs for basically ever. She'll just keep popping them down here um, until the end of time. They will continuously make aliens. It will start scouring the map for people. Eventually, they'll attack, um, which is just terrifying. It is honestly such a cool concept to do. There are a few other ones. Uh, yeah, oh, this is the actual predator dog. There are a few other ones that you can get. The thrombomorph is pretty funny to look at. And impossible to kill, but still pretty funny to see. Um, and I don't be missing any of them. No, just the runners. Just runners, which are like the quick dog type ones from Aliens Resurrection, I think. God, that movie was trash, though. Absolutely trash. There are a few events that come with the mod that I can show you. So, for example, there is the Fungus Sprout one. So, that's how you make Neomorphs. It spawns a Fungus Sprout. And if your colonists go near it, it actually infects them with gas. So, at least it has a chance to. Although, I think this one is this one needs to be toned back a little bit because I can't find a way to avoid it. Needs to be like a mask, needs to stop it or something like that. The power cut xenomorph, power cut xenomorph v2. It cuts the power for a little bit. And then also raids you. As you can see. And that is a decent amount of xenomorphs to be raided with. Um, you see there's quite a hefty few. And these things do not sleep. They don't even need to eat from what I can see. And then another one. There's more come. Um, and it is funny because they, if they damage themselves in one of these conduits, they will actually, uh, the blood will seep through and actually burn it. They don't need to sleep from what I can see, they don't need to eat even, which means that they do not stop. They're not like some of the other mods or like bugs which need to sleep. They just keep going. And it is terrifying. Yeah, as you can see, this is the beginning. And then more incidents. So you get the crash ship part, which crashes down a ship over here. You can go mess around with it. Let's see if we can get someone through. I probably shouldn't have taken this guy out. I should probably just spawn the horn in. It's afraid they'll die, you know. They do that, and it spawns the face huggers. These are actually royal face huggers. Yeah, so they're actually gonna spawn queens. This would be such a terrible thing to happen. Yeah, so now you can detonate this. I'll show you the actual predator mom in a moment. But let's see if they actually pick his body up and take him. So he's still taking damage from the acid on that he's laying on top of. Um, let's see if they pick him up and take him back to the little base over there. Yeah, that's a royal face hugger. So they'll spawn two queens from this one event and a predalien, which is tough as hell to kill. And I think that's it for the event, actually. Oh no, the xenomorph infestation. What this does is spawns a little um, infestation on the ground. You'll see it looks like a butt. It sounds like one too for some reason. And this can spawn xenomorph eggs around it, or different tunnels throughout the map. So either way, you don't want to let these aliens fester for too long. They sort of they spread so quickly uh, that it's kind of terrifying. It is quite terrifying. So as for the whole process of what it looks like to have a face hugger connect to you and spawn out something. Um, I did want to do. I didn't want to do this in the beginning, but it actually just ended up taking too long. Let's see if one can get on. You generally need quite a few. Oh 
my colonists is running in fear because usually they fight back. And there we go. Parasite has attached itself to the face. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's two colonists now. So I'll bring him here. And they brought Wolf here too. So they brought my actual predator here. So you can detonate and destroy all of them now. It's one of the cheap ways to win, I suppose. Although you're giving up a colonist for it. But yeah, you can kill him. I'll do that at the end of the video though. Pretty funny. Um, so yeah, so they get they get face hugged like this. There's an incubation process uh, as they impregnate the mouth for some reason. Don't know how it actually works genetically, whatever. And then the face hugger will disconnect from the face and die. It'll die pretty quickly. And then maybe two days later, the chest the chest burster will break out of them. Oh yeah. Which one did he get? I wanna see, did he get a purple one or a green one? Great, I can see so much here. I actually, I think he got a royal one on him. Oh no, I can't even see because he's got some mask on. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyways, the chest the burster will come out and it'll slink around or it'll disappear. So there's a chance that it disappears if it takes damage or something like that. It'll go away for a little while. Once that's done, it'll eventually grow into a massive warrior or a drone after eating its actual host's body. The entire body gets consumed most of the time from what I can see. So as you can see, there are not many corpses left here, even though there were hundreds in the beginning. And it's because the chest busters actually ate all the corpses over time. Oh, there we go. I think. Yeah, so something's happening. Post impregnation. Okay, you can actually see it grow over here. Alright, 25%. That's cool. Dev mode for the win. Probably should have thought about this before. Yeah, this sucks so bad. This must be the worst way to die. Especially if you're alive during this time. God, this is ridiculous. Oh, they got in. They actually got in. Shit. Yeah, good luck in there, boys. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yeah, there we go. So the face hug is still connected. There we go. So the parasite has detached itself from coming to seem okay for now. And now that that's done, this will go around and it'll die pretty quickly afterwards. I believe. Just sort of hear them busy mauling the aliens. Uh, must be so weird to see a predalien because it actually looks like an alien. Alright, I'm going to do this just so we can keep moving time up quickly. Yeah, so the face hug is chilling now. It generally does die pretty quickly afterwards um, from what I've seen. Just waiting for it to actually pass on to the next life. Or not, apparently. Never mind, seems just ready for another victim. I wonder if I can... Oh no, died as I went into the dev menu. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. I was gonna spawn in a wild man. So then he gets up, everything's totally fine. He feels totally fine. Um, like maybe a good half a day, I'd say. Feels totally fine, 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 fine. And then... Here comes the sad part. Get ready, get your tears ready. And he dies. Whoa. Collapsed. Something explodes. Coming's convulsion stops suddenly. Xenomorph embryo. Gaping chest wound. It just bit off its head. So now the face hugger is busy eating his body. Which is delectable. Absolutely delectable. And 
and then it eats the entire corpse, and eventually, after quite a while, the regular aliens spawn out of it. So there is a mod menu. I kind of want to do this, though. kind of want to send one of them in and explode him. don't know if it's a good idea. Can he actually get there? These ones just hunt the perimeter. Oh well, we'll show you the, the predator detonate regardless. Let's do this. Click on. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, turn this off. Doing a whole kamikaze run. No, 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 so close. Okay, we'll take out a good chunk of him. Five, four, three, two, one. And it took out a whole lot of them, which is pretty sweet. It took out, yeah, it took out almost all of them, actually. No more queen, I don't think, is it? Oh no, there's still another queen coming. So even after all of that, there's still another queen coming. So there we go. So the, the uh, I know you guys probably struggled to see it, but this one, the face hug is busy being eaten now. And now it's dead. And there is a chest person running around. Sometimes you just can't see him, but there's one busy running around. Yeah, so now we have another queen busy coming out. But anyways, that is basically it. There is a mod menu. I love mods with mod menus. The alien vs predator mod. So the predators have a system where they can get worthy kills. It gives them a bit of a buff to their mood. So you can see the ones over here. And then the potential hosts for aliens over here on the left, which is cool. All these need to be res all of these changes need to be uh, done before reset for them to work. Enable Yautja. This should enable all Yautja factions, scenarios, related incidents and events. That's for the world. And then Xenomorphs, the same basically. Allow hidden impregnations. Yes, because that's freaking awesome. Allow predalien impregnation of females. Yes, because that's awesome. Face hug removal death chance. Thirty five percent of thirty five percent chance of patient death on fail. And an embryo embryo. Removal death chance, 35% chance, patient death. All pretty standard stuff. But anyways, this mod is so freaking cool. I probably missed a whole ton of stuff. There's a big update coming out, apparently, according to the Steam page, called the, uh, I think it's called the Building Better Worlds update, which adds the USCM faction into the game and the Wayland yutani Corporation into the game, which is pretty cool because... I do sort of want to make a prison where I can control the xenomorphs inside. I think that would be really, really sweet. And for now, I can't do that, so... No matter. I'll let these ones go free, because since there's not, many, not too many aliens left. They can go relax, and... See how long until this actually happens. 36%. So this one takes ages, because it sort of cleared all the rest of them. In the time that that one's only gone up to 36%. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll probably be doing a revisit on this mod in the next couple of weeks, actually, because it is such a massive mod and the next big updates are coming out. The developers, there are a couple of them from what I can see, are freaking awesome. So I'll put a link in the description below. Just keep in mind, you do need Humanoid Alien Races 2.0 for this, as well as Jack's tools. Just keep that in mind. Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. Have an awesome day, folks. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.